Have you ever wondered why the Batanis Island could be the key to making a Chinese invasion difficult? Situated at the northernmost tip of the Philippines, Batanis Island is not just a picturesque tourist destination, it's a geopolitical stronghold. This tiny island with its rolling hills and breathtaking landscapes holds a strategic position that could play a significant role in the event of a hypothetical Chinese invasion. Why, you may ask? Well, this has everything to do with its location. Batanes Island, despite its small size, is situated in close proximity to Taiwan and mainland China, making it a potential first line of defense. It is a mere 190 kilometers south of Taiwan and about 700 kilometers from the Chinese mainland. This proximity provides it with a unique vantage point, making it a key piece in the geopolitical puzzle. Moreover, its geographic position in the South China Sea makes it a potential hotspot for territorial disputes and power plays. Its location makes it a gateway between the Pacific Ocean and the South China Sea, an area that has been the center of numerous geopolitical tensions in recent years. In essence, the Batanis Island is like a watchtower, a sentinel standing guard over the waters of the South China Sea and the Pacific Ocean. It offers a strategic advantage in terms of surveillance and early warning capabilities. In the chessboard of geopolitics, Batanis could be considered a pawn, but a pawn that could protect the king. In a world where territorial disputes and military standoffs are becoming increasingly common, the importance of small islands like Batani is growing. They may be small in size, but their strategic importance in the grand scheme of things is immense. They are the unsung heroes of geopolitics, the tiny pieces that could potentially tilt the balance of power. These are the reasons why Batanis Island, despite its small size, holds major strategic importance on a global scale. The Batanese Island, with its breathtaking beauty and strategic location, is a testament to the saying that size doesn't always matter, especially when it comes to geopolitics. Understanding the geopolitical landscape is crucial in grasping the significance of Batanis Island. The South China Sea has long been a hotbed of territorial disputes. This massive body of water with its abundant resources and strategic location has been claimed in part or in whole by several nations. China, Taiwan, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia and Brunei all have a stake in this complex jigsaw puzzle of sovereignty. The core of these tensions often boils down to two elements, resources and power. The South China Sea is rich in oil and gas reserves, not to mention its abundance in fish stocks. Control over these resources can significantly boost a nation's economy, making it a prize too tempting to resist. But it's not just about the resources. The South China Sea is a vital artery of global trade with roughly one-third of the world's maritime shipping passing through its waters. Whoever controls these waters wields significant strategic and economic influence on a global scale. China, with its growing economic and military power, has been particularly assertive in its claims, leading to heightened tensions with its neighbors and the international community. Its construction of artificial islands and military installations in disputed waters has escalated concerns about freedom of navigation and the balance of power in the region. In this checkerboard of geopolitical tensions, Batanese Island, part of the Philippines, holds a key position. Its strategic location at the northernmost tip of the country, overlooking the Luzon Strait, makes it a potential flashpoint in the region. Therefore, control over Batanes Island could potentially tip the balance of power in the region. The island's significance extends beyond its shores, impacting not just the immediate stakeholders, but also the broader geopolitical dynamics in this part of the world. It's a small piece in a much larger game, but as we've seen, even the smallest pieces can have a profound impact on the overall game. If you're enjoying this content and want to learn more about geopolitics, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's just a click away. Stay tuned for more insights and in-depth analysis. Now, let's dive deeper into the defenses of Batanis Island. In a hypothetical scenario of invasion, how could Bataan's island hold its ground? Let's delve into this interesting thought exercise. The defense of Batanis Island is multifaceted, relying not only on man-made fortifications but also the island's natural features. 
The island is known for its rugged and hilly terrain, which in itself acts as a natural barrier against invaders. Steep cliffs drop sharply into the sea, making amphibious assaults a daunting task. The unpredictable and often stormy weather adds another layer of difficulty, potentially disrupting the enemy's operations. But the natural defenses of Batanis Island are only part of the story. The local population also plays a significant role in its defense. The Ivatans, the indigenous people of Batans, are known for their resilience and resourcefulness. In a hypothetical invasion scenario, their intimate knowledge of the island's landscape could prove invaluable. They could potentially employ guerrilla tactics, disrupting the enemy's supply lines and communications, making life difficult for any invading force. Moreover, the local population's resolve to defend their home should not be underestimated. The Ivatans have a strong sense of community and a deep-rooted attachment to their land. Their potential resistance could become a psychological deterrent to any invading force, adding a layer of complexity to the invasion scenario. In addition, the strategic location of Batanas Island gives it a defensive advantage. It sits at the northernmost tip of the Philippines, serving as a natural barrier between the country and any potential threat from the north. This geographical advantage, coupled with the island's natural and human defenses, could make an invasion a logistical nightmare. Furthermore, the island's infrastructure is designed to withstand the region's harsh weather conditions. This includes reinforced buildings and a robust communication network, which could be crucial in coordinating defense efforts. In conclusion, the defenses of Batanis Island are not to be taken lightly. From its rugged terrain and harsh weather to the potential resistance of its local population and its strategic location, these defenses could make an invasion of Batanis Island a tough challenge. To understand the strategic importance of Batanes Island, we need to take a look at its history. Batanes, the smallest province in the Philippines, has a rich historical narrative that has shaped its geopolitical significance over the centuries. The islands were first inhabited by the Ivatans, a resilient group of people known for their stone houses and seafaring skills. The Ivatans lived in relative isolation until the late 16th century, when Spanish explorers arrived, marking the start of three centuries of Spanish rule. This period saw the Batanid Islands become a strategic outpost for the Spanish Empire, due to its location at the northernmost tip of the Philippines. Fast forward to the late 19th century, the Spanish-American War saw control of the islands shift from Spain to the United States. The American period ushered in a new era of development and modernization, further raising the island's strategic profile. World War II, however, brought destruction to the islands. The Japanese occupation of Batanes signaled its strategic importance in the Pacific theater. The island's location made them a crucial staging area for forces moving between mainland Asia and the Pacific. Post-war, the Batanes Islands returned to Filipino control, and since then, the islands have enjoyed a period of peace and stability. However, their strategic significance has never waned. The island's proximity to Taiwan and the contested South China Sea places them at the center of ongoing geopolitical tensions. The history of Batanes Island is a testament to its strategic importance. It has been a coveted outpost for empires, a battleground during world wars, and now, a potential buffer zone in regional disputes. This rich historical tapestry has woven Batanes into a key piece in the geopolitical puzzle. The history of Batanes Island has made it a key piece in the geopolitical puzzle. So, what does the future hold for Batanes Island in the context of potential Chinese aggression? As we gaze into the crystal ball of geopolitics, several scenarios come into view. Each carries its own weight of possibility, impacted by a myriad of factors, including international relations, economic conditions, and the shifting sands of political landscapes. One potential future could see the evolution of diplomatic resolutions. In this scenario, the island of Batanes, with its strategic location, could become a symbol of cooperation rather than contention. The Philippines and China might find common ground in shared interests, such as marine conservation, research, or even tourism. 
A cooperative agreement could defuse tensions and allow both nations to benefit from the island's position without resorting to aggressive tactics. On the other hand, there's a less optimistic scenario. The escalation of conflict is always a possibility in the complex world of geopolitics. The strategic importance of Batanis Island might provoke more assertive moves from China, leading to an increase in military presence in the region. This could turn the island into a flashpoint where the balance of power constantly teeters on the brink of confrontation. Yet, it's also important to remember that the future is not set in stone. The course of history often takes unexpected turns, influenced by unforeseen events and decisions made in far-off capitals. Batani's island, with its unique position in the South China Sea, is a piece on the geopolitical chessboard that many players may seek to control. Its future could be shaped by a multitude of factors, some of which we may not even be aware of at this point in time. In the end, the future of Batana's island is inseparable from the broader geopolitical currents of the South China Sea region. Its fate will no doubt be a reflection of the successes and failures of diplomacy, the ebb and flow of power, and the ever-changing landscape of international relations. Whatever the future holds, Batan's island will no doubt continue to play a key role in the geopolitics of the region. In conclusion, Batanis Island may seem unassuming, but it holds significant strategic value. As we've journeyed through the significance of this less known geographical gem, we've discovered that it's not just the beauty of Batans that makes it stand out. It's the strategic importance it holds in the geopolitical landscape that truly adds to its value. Situated at the northernmost tip of the Philippines, this island serves as a key barrier, a natural fortress, if you will, against potential invasions. We've seen how the island's unique geography and inherent defenses contribute to its strategic significance. Its rough terrains, unpredictable weather patterns, and surrounding treacherous waters create a natural deterrent to any potential invader, including a superpower such as China. We've also delved into the historical context that adds layers to the island's significance. Batanis has always been a silent sentinel, its role in the geopolitical chessboard often overlooked, yet its potential impact is undeniable. The island's history as a navigational guide and its proximity to international shipping lanes underscore its importance as a strategic outpost. As we look towards the future, the potential implications of Batanis' strategic importance become even more significant. In a world where geopolitical tensions are rising, the island's position could become increasingly crucial. It may serve as a pivotal point in the balance of power in the region, a natural stronghold that could deter invasions and maintain regional stability. So, as we wrap up our exploration of Batanis Island, let's not forget the vital role it may play in the geopolitical landscape. It's more than just an island. It's a strategic outpost, a natural fortress, and a potential key to maintaining balance in a world fraught with tensions. Subscribe for more amazing content. Keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.